Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 250 pounds and I've successfully kept my weight off since July of 2020. And on my channel I vlog daily plus every week I show you what I've meal prepped and all of the food that I have in my household and we also grow microgreens together. Now on the note of microgreens, let's start planting those in June, which is about three weeks away. I um, had about 20 pounds of extra soil for all the microgreens that I intended to plant and I noticed that there were more gnats in my home. I've had this soil for months, but I thought that the gnats that I was seeing was coming from me overwatering my plants, not from the soil that I had. Because like I said, I've had this soil in my home for months, but I guess now with it being spring or something, the gnats just decided they wanted to reside in the extra soil that I had and so I threw away all my soil and I don't want to reintroduce any new soil so that the gnats will feel comfortable coming back and having a free-for-all in my apartment. So I just want to keep my home soil free for a little while so that they can go find some other place to live. And um, let's chit chat today about elevating thoughts. So I want to challenge myself and challenge you all today to just have elevating thoughts. Thinking on positive things that are true, pure, virtuous, praiseworthy, that is not my strength. I'm very hard on myself. I'm very hard on other people. So I wanted to just have a simple one day challenge where we only think on elevating thoughts, okay? Not to say that we can't acknowledge any truths that may be hurtful or painful or difficult to discuss, but when we acknowledge these truths, we can still wrap them in elevating thoughts. For example, um, in the year 2020 and 2021, I was successful with drinking a gallon of water every day. Now fast forward to 2023 and I'm struggling with drinking a gallon of water every day. All right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Ross today and get myself one of those huge water bottles. Now rather than beating myself up and saying, hey, you shouldn't need to get by a huge water bottle. You have a ton of these water bottles right here. Why don't you just figure out how to use these to drink a gallon of water each day? And, um, you know, it's not that hard. Seven of these equals a gallon of water over a gallon of water. So rather than sit there and have this dialogue that's not helping me become elevated and that's more so feeding into me having the this perpetual determination to be hard and overcritical, um, I'm just going to have elevating thoughts. I'm going to practice that for just this one day. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have elevating thoughts every day. I'm just saying we are taking baby steps or I am taking baby steps by practicing only having elevating thoughts today. So rather than thinking like I was, I'm going to say to myself, hey, Alicia, good job investing in yourself. Good job not giving up. Good job not beating yourself up and trying to navigate and go back to the drawing board to find new ways to successfully reach your goals. And good job acknowledging the fact and doing something to change the fact that, you know, you aren't hitting your goals the way that you want to. So, yeah. That's me practicing elevating thoughts today. Um, and I would like to report to you that I have been successful with meeting my 2023 health goals. I did walk for an hour before going to work and I have 
also had my breakfast consist of 60 ounces of water and four servings of raw vegetables and I'm successfully meeting my goals 96% of the time. Yay, go me. So I would like to read to you a poem titled Fleeing to the Tent of JL. JL is a woman in the Bible who was praised for killing somebody. Um, in the book of Judges, there was a leader of God's people who was afraid to go to war with an army that was much stronger than him. And he needed encouragement from a prophetess named Deborah to go forward. He did go ahead and fight this army. And with God's power, the Israelites won. Now, this army that they were fighting was very powerful, very strong nation. The battle... In the battle, the top person of the army saw that he was losing and he decided, I'm going to abandon the army and try to escape. And in his trying to escape, he ran into the tent of one of God's people. And in thinking that she would protect him and keep him safe, he ended up getting killed by her. And this was a good thing. So JL is the woman that killed the top army person of the enemies of God. And this poem is a little bit long, so bear with me. Fleeing to the Tent of JL. Oh, how I long to refresh and revive. I've been overtaken and I'm trying to survive. I will flee away. I must make my escape. I'm running for my life. I must find refuge before it's too late. To JL, to JL, to JL, I will run. I am an evil spirit that enjoys killing anyone who seeks to please God or stay in his will. I hate righteousness and truth. I hate Christians with zeal. I want to kill corrupt Steal and throw down a Christian's desire to turn lost souls around. I want you to be a slave. Your heart I want to thrust with a blade of deception, selfishness, and lust. So come here, come here, come here, come here to you, I say. I want you to hear my words and my voice obey. But I can't trick you. Because you're like that warrior, J.L., who is keenly discerning my actions and won't listen to the lies of hell. She wants to eliminate wicked forces that grab God's people by the neck. She is prayed up. She's prepared. Her heart is virtuous and set. Into her tent I will desperately go and face the wrath of my determined foe. I have been slain, and my comrades will be killed too, at the hands of JLs who are committed to pull through. Committed to pull through all the church politics and carnality galore, the perception of a staggering ministry, and hopes that have been smashed to the floor. She is willing to focus and set her mind straight. She refuses to allow evil forces to taunt her or obliterate the promises God has made to her, to those she will hold true. She evicts the nuisances that wrongfully tell her what to do. She focuses and keeps her eyes on him. She waits for her savior and her light won't dim. Prayerful, anointed, with a heart that is set, she is maturing and her character won't fret. 
She is going to get her victory in Jesus' name. Jael is a warrior who has been prepared. Her hands aren't lame. So watch out, wicked forces. You better stay on the run. Jael is seeking you, and she's already won. So thank you so much for staying with me and spending this time with me today. I do appreciate you. And tomorrow, we will be talking about being true to yourself. And also, you will be seeing a Way In Wednesday. Hooray, hooray, hooray for Way In Wednesdays. On Way In Wednesdays, the format is different than my usual daily vlogs. I tell you about my new weight and also we go over my non-scale victories for the week, the junk food I've eaten that week, and also the lies that I have told myself in pertaining to health for that week. And um, in May, I started a no junk food challenge where I am pushing myself to avoid junk food for four whole months. So until September. So this is Alicia's version of running a marathon. Like, yeah, I'm obviously not running a marathon. But, you know, it's kind of like when people want to run a marathon, they really push themselves. People who aren't typically runners. So I'm not a runner. I don't want to really run a marathon. But I wanted to challenge myself and see, hey, what would, what would the results be if I went without junk food for four whole months? So on Way In Wednesday, you will be able to hear whether or not I've been successful with my goal. So I hope to see y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.